big shine spray person. My curls were so bomb that day. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I've never done before, but I've been seeing them all over YouTube, and I figured it would be a great way for me to show you guys the stuff that I've been getting in the mail because I get so much stuff on a regular basis, but also an opportunity for you guys to see exactly what I get and actually speak on what you actually want to see videos or posts about or reviews about or whatever i've got so much stuff here that it's all basically hair and makeup stuff and then a pair of shoes so i'm not gonna ramble too much in this video or at least i'm gonna try not to because you guys know i can talk so i'm gonna try to speed through these products and things and like i said definitely comment down below which products you want an in-depth Kind of review tutorial with and i'll definitely take notes uh but yeah let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i want to show you guys were these sneakers that i got from nike they're the new whoops <laughs> these are in collaboration with alc they're a super dope feminine brand and actually the woman that created the brand is a celebrity stylist she's known for her looks that she's done for like j-lo and other celebs and so she always loved cortez since like she was back in new york i, I can't remember the whole story but basically she always loved like the shoe the cortez so if you guys actually go to their website the alc website all her models are wearing like super feminine dress and clothing but with cortez on <laughs> so the brand really embodies like that cool girl that still likes to dress it up dress it down but these are like a great lifestyle shoe if you are trying to get your feet wet in the sneaker game cortez are like the easy kind of transition sneaker into wearing more sneakers so these are super dope especially because they have um like a almost like a suede kind of texture to them on the exterior and then inside here it has a little message so i think different styles in the collection and the collaboration have different sayings in the soul so mine says think how you can and the whole collaboration is super uplifting and motivational and like really um i don't know motivating you know and i also love the fact that it has these super long laces one of the things that i think a lot of girls have trouble with when it comes to sneakers is like making them feel more feminine making them feel more girly because you can go from like cute girly casual to like almost too tomboy really fast and so i love the fact that these are super long because the way you can wear these is kind of like a lace up sandal so you know how you have those like jesus sandals where you can like lace them up your ankle and it kind of just gives it a different kind of look and feel these kind of give that same effect so when i wear these i'll wear them like lace up my ankle it just brings it you know a different flavor to your sneaker game and yeah it makes it a little bit more girly definitely go cop these if you are trying to get your sneaker game up I also got this huge bag of stuff from Siete. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. I've never heard of this brand before, but they sent me like, I mean, a whole collection of things, like a whole, a whole bag of things. So let me know if you guys have heard of this brand before and if you want me to like test some stuff out it's just so much stuff i don't even feel like swatching it all oh this one oh this is a collab palette with chloe morello oh i love chloe okay wait let me look at this palette <laughs> i didn't see this in there whenever i initially like was sifting through everything so if you guys don't know chloe morello is obviously a youtuber and um oh this palette is pretty i'm not a big like makeup swatch person so I'm not doing all that, but um, let me know if you guys have heard anything about this palette so far. I mean, the shades look really nice, but you know, one thing for the shades to look nice, another thing for them to actually show up on my skin and you know, do what they do. <laughs> so yeah. So while we're at it, I'm also gonna show you guys stuff that I got from Sally Beauty at BeautyCon. I didn't even go around in the talent lounge for stuff because I was so busy the whole time at BeautyCon. I didn't even get a chance to like go around the tables. Cause Okay, so basically, if you don't know, at BeautyCon, there's like a talent lounge and that's where all of the creators and stuff and the celebs get their products. Uh, from all the brands that are like mainly on the floor not all the brands that are on the floor 
give products to the gifting lounge for us, but most of them do. And so a lot of stuff I get on a regular basis, so I wasn't trying to carry a bunch of stuff. Uh, so I just got this bag from the Sally Beauty booth uh, because it just had a combination of things. And I could already see some things that I wanted in the bag, so I definitely had to get one. First things first, the uh, full-size products in this bag are the Myel Organic Styling Gel, which I have been waiting to try this. So I'm so ready. Right now I have, um, what do I have in my hair? I have the curl cream, the Brazilian curly cocktail curl cream or whatever it is um, as a base. And then I uh, use the Curl Maker by Camille Rose Naturals to for a little bit of hold. So I think though that I like the cream a lot, but I would rather use the cream for like a braid out or a twist out because it's a little bit heavy for my wash and goes. So um, yeah, I'm probably gonna use this next time um, either by itself or maybe with just like one of their spray leave-ins. Then I also got this hydrating conditioner. Um, this is one of their new products that just came out. I've got another box from them here. So I think I have a whole bunch of my L stuff. To go through two so I'm just gonna talk about my L organics whenever I get to the rest of those products but I got this as well in the bag also got this little um, OPI collection thing like little mini um, nail polishes also got uh, this heat protectant which again I think I got I have a box of stuff sulfate free hydrating cream conditioner from Cantu this little baby one some developer from clear all I got some Eden Body Works mousse I also got some conditioner from Eden Body Works. All of these like body wash conditioners are about to be put straight in my bag that I travel with because I love collecting these little ones to throw in my bag when I travel. So these are like perfect for me. I don't even need like the full size product. Also got some lightener from Clairol and then, oh, and some hair color. If I wanna, you know, do some crazy. This is Make em Blush Pink Hair Color. This is also by Clairol. So if I ever wanna, you know, go pink, I can do that. Okay, so the next thing that, that I got is from Beauty Essentials. We got it wrapped up in this little pretty box. So it comes with this little card um, about, I guess, whoever they teamed up with. Oh, he's a celebrity makeup artist. So I have this uh, Brighten Up Enzyme Face Rejuvenator with Microderm Crystals. It's an exfoliating cleanser enriched with papaya, microcrystals, and aloe. Ooh, that sounds actually marvelous. What? Papaya is so good for your face. 99% natural, so I'm down for that. Also, this eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Ma. This matte, mellow matte liquid paint. Oh, it's just like little lip, like little lippies. Silky loop, wait, silky cotton loose powder. Oh, it's like a, a loose powder, like a translucent powder. I'm feeling this packaging. I love that. That's dope. Oh, I think it's like a Korean product. You know what? This pro this stuff is probably K Beauty stuff, cause this is a it writ it's written in Korean on the back and stuff, so I bet you that's what it is. So we also have this lipstick from Delium Tools, and it's like a reddish orange color, but the packaging is really cool. It's like mag magnetic, so it like clips together, which is probably clutch because I've had situations where the caps of my lip gloss or my lipstick have come off in my purse and lipstick or lip gloss has gotten everywhere that that is like the most annoying thing ever so that little magnetic thing i like that that's a nice touch okay then i have this art artemis curl performance eyelash adhesive oh this is just eyelash glue but i've never heard of this brand before it must be good this fido blush twist it's a long lasting cream to powder blush by Sisley and it's in like a deep red color. No, that looks like a bright pink lipstick on me. Yikes. Artemis, I think I'm saying that right. Oh, they're lashes. The quality of this little box is super nice. And look at these lashes. Yeah, those are super pretty. The Tweez Pro Illuminating Tweezers with diamond dust tips. Ooh. 
fancy. Okay, so next we have some stuff from Diva Curl. All right, let's see what they sent. Oh, their new deep sea repair mask. This is a seaweed strengthening mask. And then the melt into moisture matcha butter conditioning mask. So I guess these are two different masks that they just came out with. This is gonna bother me that the <laughs> that there's plastic. Urgh. If I can get it open. Jeez. Why is it so hard? Urgh. I don't know why I'm just making my life so hard where I could have just got some scissors. So let's see. Ooh, it's green. Has a really light scent, you know? It actually smells really good. The more I smell it, oh, it just smells like a spa. Oh, I guess these are both treatments, but I don't really know what the difference is between the two. This one definitely has a different smell, like a more like sea, ocean smell, definitely. Deep sea, duh. Yeah, I guess this one is just more strengthening, so maybe it has more, yeah, protein. So this is a protein intense conditioner. Um, because it has rice, soy, and wheat proteins, and moisturizing sea lavender. It's supposed to transform, you know, damaged hair. So if you want, you need moisture, I think you would get this one versus that one. Okay, all right, so we got a big box from Garnier. Let's see what is in this baby. It's like a bag. <laughs> all right. Cute little bag though. Hey Garnier girls, summer temperatures are rising and we're here to help you beat the heat. We're stocking you up with some of our favorite Garnier products to help fight frizz and revitalize your skin, along with some warm weather accessories to soak in the last days of summer. I love Garnier. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a little stereo. Oh, but it's a speaker. You like connect it to with like an aux cord to your phone. That is dope. I love that. We got some face masks. I already used this one. I posted about this one on Instagram last week. We got the Sleek and Shine conditioner. And then they also gave me one of these. This is one you wanna like put like fruit and like mint and whatnot in your water. I've been wanting one of these too. Sleek and Shine shampoo, anti-frizz cream. This one is from Jergens Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. Oh, so after showering or bathing, apply Cura Hydrotherapy to wet skin glides on smoothly and absorbs immediately. No need to rinse off or wait. Towel dry as usual. Oh wow, you can towel dry as usual. Interesting. Wet skin moisturizer. Oh, so this is for fair to medium tones. Then this one is for medium to tan tones, which would probably be me. Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This is also a in shower like moisturizer. This right here is, oh, ask why wet skin turnover for answers. Okay, what is this? It's a, like a magic eight ball. <laughs> no waiting. Wait, where did my message go? Here is the box from Myel Organics. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. So it came in this pretty box. We got some little cards in here. Mongongo, Mongogo? Mongongo, Mongogo, Mongongo. So we've also got this Babasu uh, curl mousse, which when I was at BeautyCon, Mono's hair did my hair, and she used this and the white panty leave-in conditioner. My curls were so bomb that day. I will definitely, definitely be doing a video on these products because I got so much my L stuff that I'm like, I obviously have to do a video. Um, so let me know what style you guys wanna see though. Do you wanna see a wash and go? Do you wanna see a braid out? Do you wanna see like something cute and fun and edgy, different, whatever, like let me know. Oh yeah, here's the leave-in conditioner that we use, the white peony leave-in conditioner. Style setting spray, an exfoliating shampoo, and oh, some of my favorite edge control because it doesn't get chunky or like, I don't know, you know some edge controls just like do too much, they get gunky after like two seconds. Pomade to oil treatments, hair dress to moisturize scalp, condition hair and eliminate frizz. What is this though? Pomade to oil, so what does that mean? My first instinct is to think that it's kind of like a li more liquid version of an edge control. Oh, so it's not sticky at all. So it literally is like a cream that like dissolves into oil. This is nice. This is like a good like something just to like add 
<laughs> add um, if you don't like spray shine sprays I'm not a big shine spray person I like more stuff like this where I have more control with my hands so like I would like put some of this on my hands rub it obviously and then scrunch like for like a refresh that's how I see myself using this. A pre-poo, wow, somebody actually packaged a pre-poo. Thank you, my L Organics. All right, we got two more boxes to go through. Okay, this one is from Glam Glow, one of my favorite brands. Wow, so 45% more plus super mud. So they just came out with a larger version of it. Yay, because you can never have too much of the super mud. Also this scented candle. Set the ambiance when you're having a face mask. Ooh, that smells good. It's got like that deep, musky, uh, fall smell. I think it's like pine or something in there. What is this? Oh, sandalwood and cedarwood. Yeah, amber, patchouli, smoky fire build, broody, strong, and full body fragrance. Ooh, we've got another big box bare minerals <laughs> um mailbox i swear these brands come up with the most creative like concepts for these promo gifts oh man this is the first one it's a statement matte liquid lip color 10 shades full coverage long wearing formula moisturizing cream to matte finish lightweight no tack texture so this is all the lip colors in here so these are the Statement Luxe Shine lipsticks, the shine ones. These are more, I guess, traditional like lipsticks. This is Alpha and it's like just like a really pretty like reddish pink. And then also in here are the Statement Under Over Lip Liners and there's five of these so five shades of those oh and last but not least i almost forgot this one because i opened it the other day but it's this little pack here from becca and they sent me their new ultimate covered complexion creams and then also their velvet blurring primer and then um this new pink haze um blurring powder this is so so good I'm so glad they sent me this because they sent me the original one which is like a more yellow undertone but I like this one even better because when I was at BeautyCon Becca had like a little station like touch up makeup station back there so I went over there to get my makeup touched up and the lady that was doing my makeup used this and she was like yeah this is a great color because it actually works better for women of color. This is what I have on my face today, this pink powder. I know, pink powder, it sounds weird, but it actually sets really nicely and kind of gives your skin that extra like skin-like glow and look to it. And so I use this to set everything all over and I use the Velvet Blurring Primer first, which, oh, this is like, you know how some primers are more liquidy? Uh, they kind of set into your skin more and they're more like a moisturizer and then other primers are more like have like this film that kind of puts on your face so that product like sticks to it and kind of smooths your texture out and like makes your pores super smooth and stuff. That is what this is. This literally makes all your pores look like they're not there <laughs> and so I love this I was like yes when I was putting this on this is perfect for um, if you have large pores or just like want an even canvas this is so good and I use the color cafe of the coverage complexion cream for my overall foundation and then I highlighted with the bamboo shade. I use champagne pop for my highlight. These are definitely like on a must have list if you're looking for new kind of foundations to try and stuff and powders. But yeah, that is it. I hope this video wasn't terribly long. I feel like it was though. It took me a while to film this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more PR unboxings, like I said, this is the first time I've done this type of video, so let me know if you want to see a different way of sharing what I've been using currently or what new stuff that I'm getting um, each week. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!